His job was to stain fabrics and other materials red. One day, the factory owners decided that it was time for the red dye to show his skills. However, although our drinking water resided nearby, the factory owner mercilessly made red dye stain the fabrics red at the expense of himself. Red dye dripped down the cloth like blood, his remains polluting our drinking water. Then, Ducky appeared. Don't worry, he said, we can use activated carbon to clean up this mess. Yay, God sent us activated carbon to use. Now Ducky attempts to use the activated carbon as a filter. Yay, he did it! Now the purification begins. The polluted drinking water is poured through the activated carbon filter, and amazingly, clean water emerges from the filter. Yay! Let us take a closer look. The porous surface structure of activated carbon allows it to absorb many things, including chlorine, heavy metal ions, and even organic dyes. This is especially useful in the purification of water. Chlorine and chlorine compounds are commonly used in the process as it is a strong oxidant that kills many harmful organisms. However, they form H and Cl ions as well as HOCl, which is hypochlorous acid in water. And this HOCl must be removed before water can be safely consumed. One common method of removing chlorine and hypochlorous acid is to filter the water through activated carbon. Let's take a close look at the surface chemistry during the absorption of chlorine. The compound on the left shows the surface of activated carbon. OH ions bond to a hydrogen atom, leaving a negatively charged compound behind. Now ClOH comes and the chlorine atom takes the place of hydrogen. The process repeats itself again. Now, how does activated carbon absorb organic dyes such as methyl and blue? There are strong dispersion forces acting between activated carbon and the dye. Attractive force of the carbon phase is stronger than the dye or chlorine's bond to water. Thus, these electrostatic forces for attraction causes them to bind to carbon surface. The highly porous activated carbon, having large surface area, thus is able to absorb and remove such harmful pollutants like methyl in blue and chloride compounds very effectively. Thanks to activated carbon, our water is clean again. Yay!